A glimpse into the heroin epidemic. A local father who lost his son to an overdose returns to the place his son died. Today, the father is fighting back. It really is an epidemic and it's horrifying. Heroin. We've told you about it before, about the lives it's claimed in our own community. Within the last few years, hundreds have overdosed. One stands out for this family a son and brother, 27 year old Tony, who OD'd in October at the age of 27. My brother was amazing, man. He was like my second half. He was like. Second half of my brain, and I was the second half of his. Syringes everywhere. Dad Rocco went back to the house where Tony died for the first time a few weeks ago. I was devastated. You know, I wanted to see, you know, where my son actually died. And when I got here and I saw just how bad it was with all the needles and all the garbage, and it just, it disgusted me. It just, to think that that was the last thing that he saw was just, just killed me. So we had to do something. Today was that something, a cleanup effort. Rocco and dozens of others, some strangers, came out to help and fight back against the heroin epidemic by cleaning up drug houses, starting with the home where Tony died. He hopes this inspires others to do the same, and for anyone facing addiction right now, this father has a message. Don't give up, and, you know, life is way better on the other side of addiction. Rocco hopes to make this cleanup effort a monthly event.